break. <laughs> if you're like me and you've always wanted to live on the lake, but you need to work in the immediate DFW area, stay tuned. Today we're talking about lakeside living in the immediate Dallas-Fort Worth area. Stay tuned. Welcome back. I'm Kelly Vaughn with the Vaughn team and Keller Williams McKinney. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first visit to our channel, here we talk about everything related to life, community, and real estate in the suburbs north of Dallas. So hit that red subscribe button and you can join us every week. If this meme right here speaks to you, this is the video for you. If you are like me and you've always dreamed of living on a lake, but you need to work in the Dallas area, you're in luck. Today we're talking about lakeside living in the Dallas area, and we're gonna talk about working and living on five different local lakes that have property available right now. So we're gonna talk about the four counties immediately surrounding Dallas. So we're gonna talk about properties and lakes in Dallas County, Collin County, Denton County, and Rockwall County. We're gonna start in Dallas County. Joe Pool Lake is the biggest lake in Dallas County. And if you're looking to buy a property on Joe Pool Lake, the average property is gonna be about a three bedroom, two and a half bath, built in 2007, about 2,500 square feet. And this property is gonna cost about $343,000. Uh, Jopo Lake includes the cities of Cedar Hill and Grand Prairie. If you want to go whole hog and get your dream house on Jopo Lake, you're looking at about a five bedroom, five and a half bath property built in 2020, about 5,600 square feet on four acres. And that property is going to cost about $1.125 million. Now, Jopo Lake has about um, 7,400 acres of, um, of, is a 7,400 acre lake. And just to the east of it is Cedar Hill State Park. So a lot of great um, recreational opportunities on Jopo Lake in addition to um, great hiking and biking on Jopo Lake. And honestly, the um, Cedar Hill, Jopo Lake, Cedar Hill State Park area to me has some of the best views in all of Dallas. Um, the Jopo Lake area is about 22 miles southwest of downtown Dallas. Next, we're gonna go about 50 miles northeast of downtown Dallas to Levon Lake in Collin County. Lake Levon includes the cities of Nevada, Levon, Princeton, and Wiley. If you missed our video on small town living in the cities around Dallas, it's gonna be linked right up here. You could check that out. That'll give you a good idea about some of these cities, um, Nevada and Princeton in particular. On Lake Levon, um, the median property size is gonna be about a three bedroom, two bath, built in 1986, about 1,900 square feet on about half an acre. And that type of property is gonna cost about $240,000. If you wanna go pure luxe on Lake Levon, you're looking at about a five bedroom, three bath property built in 2016, about 4,500 square feet, and that property is gonna cost you about $675,000 on one acre of land. Um, Lake Levon, you're looking at pretty much more rural areas. Um, it has 121 miles of shoreline, and one of the things that it has is it's um, managed by the Corps of Engineers, and there's a 19, there are 19 four-lane boat ramps. So if you love to water ski, 
or fish, Lake Levon is a great option for you. Next, we're gonna go to two lakes in Denton County. The first is gonna be about 35 miles northwest of downtown Dallas, and that is gonna be Lake Louisville. Lake Louisville has 233 miles of shoreline and includes the cities of The Colony, Little Elm, Frisco, Highland Village, Sandy Shores, and Lakewood Village. If you're looking to purchase a property on Lake Louisville, the median property is gonna be a four bedroom, three and a half bath house um, built in 2004, 3,200 square feet, and you're looking at about a median sales price of $727,000. If you wanna go all out, the um, maximum luxury property on Lake Louisville that sold um, in the last six months was a six bedroom, five full bath, three half bath house built in 2019 on four acres of land 6,700 square feet for $2.2 million. From Lake Louisville, we're gonna go um, a little bit south of Lake Louisville to Lake Grapevine, which is about 28 miles northwest of downtown Dallas. And Lake Grapevine in Denton County is gonna be mainly the town of Flower Mound. You're looking at about a four bedroom, five full bath, one half bath property, about 5,200 square feet on 1.1 acres, built in 1999. That type of property is gonna go for about $1.4 million. If you wanna go all in, you're looking at about a seven bedroom, seven full bath, three half bath property, 12,000 square feet, on six acres of land built in 2020 that sold for $9.4 million. Finally, we're gonna go east of downtown Dallas, about 30 miles to Lake Ray Hubbard in Rockwall County. Lake Ray Hubbard includes the towns of Rockwall, part of Wiley, Rowlett and Heath, um, Lake Ray Hubbard has 111 miles of shoreline. Properties on Lake Ray Hubbard, you're looking at about a median home of four bedroom, two and a half bath, built in 1988, 2,600 square feet, for a median sales price of $440,000. If you wanna go high end, you're looking at a six bedroom, seven bath, three half bath with a six car garage, built this year in 2021, 8,200 square feet on a whopping 42 acres of land sold for $4.5 million. So that is to show you that you can live on the lake and work in the Dallas area. It's entirely possible. If you are looking to relocate to Collin County or the surrounding areas, we have a relocation guide just for you. It's gonna be linked down in the description box. So take a look at that. It's gonna give you a lot of ideas and information about the area. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a great day, be kind to each other, and we'll see you next time.